The question somebody asked me once was, if I, if my prayer, if I feel like my prayer was not answered, does that still mean that God is God? Mm. Well, you know a little bit of my history with, you know, some big times when God did not answer. Mm -hmm that has proved over and over that he is God and that he still loves me, he cares about me, you know. And that, that is overwhelming at times, that when you talk, stop and think about the God who created, like I like watching nature shows, mm -hmm. and animals and birds and plants and stuff. What an awesome God. And then it says before you were born, he chose you. Like, can God choose you? Like, that is overwhelming, so then how can you not trust and believe that this God is guiding you no matter what he does to, to you in your life, you know? It, and that's uh, your hope. And that's my hope, yes. And that's my, not only my hope, it's my assurance. That's my assurance. That's a good word. <laughs> yeah, right. Jim's ministry is a ministry for our seniors. We have a number of them in this church. And it's just a gathering of them to bless them and to allow them to chat with each other and just share community. Well, GEMS, the uh, acronym stands for Genuinely Enthusiastic Missionary Seniors. And they are enthusiastic. I, yes. Yeah, they are. The regular activity is, and this was before COVID, which is like two years ago, uh, was meeting every month. And so as we've started into the tail end of COVID, we hope, <laughs> We are endeavoring to do another one before summer and then in the fall hopefully have a monthly activity for them that's usually focused around a meal and a program of some kind with music or a speaker mm -hmm. or a fun time, that mm -hmm. kind of activity. And the GEMS didn't meet for quite a few months when COVID was, was here with us. So they, they love meeting, like Ken has already said. They love meeting, they love eating together, they love experiencing each other. It, it is it is a significant outdoor activity, or like out of their home, right? Yeah. Which gets them into the environment, like you were saying, with others of like age yeah. and interest. Yeah. And um, yeah. they look forward to it like a great outing. They do. <laughs> they, they really do. do. To me, it goes back to the connecting piece, where the seniors, a lot of them are not as... Um, mobile as the rest of us so they're kind of stuck if you will so to put together a nice meal in a nice environment with either entertainment or a speaker and always good cooking here at the church just so you know um, it just blesses them so that is a big part of the value for the gems ministry and our gems people our seniors people are incredible prayers they pray and pray and pray so when we get them together Ken always brings in a prayer component and gets them gathered praying over a common theme or they share things that is that are that's going on in their lives that they can be praying about how can people get updates on gems activities um, because seniors for the most part aren't on the internet uh, we do a lot of things by phone um, we do a lot through our senior shepherding groups with the leaders um, and by word of mouth, passing it around on a Sunday. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. It seems to get it, like it's a hotline when they start finding it out and shooting it around to each other. We advertise on the bulletin, which is um, digital as well. And what usually happens is somebody within the circle of that particular senior will see that ad. On the, in the bulletin and then they will pass that information on to the senior. So that happens too. It's really important to network within GEMS and so if any if any seniors um, in hearing this you know seeing this or hearing about GEMS wants to know more to phone the main office. Phone the main office our numbers you know uh, available and we will update them yeah, I think Either Pastor Ken or I can update them. We, we know what's going on in the world of gyms. So, yeah. yeah, it's probably the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you.